Hi, Peanut here from Muzzy Loader Camp. Here I'm in here at Hoosier National Forest. Uh, I'm just going to do a little hike today for you all. So, uh, this is uh, off road that you come back and camp in. I, I was just at the Hickory Ridge campground. There's a lot of people there, and as you know, I the coronavirus and stuff, so I didn't want to start there. So. There's nobody here, so I thought I'd come here and do a, a quick little hike for you today. Uh, like I said, I'm in Hoosier National Forest and down an off-road, so we'll go on a little hike. I mean, it's warm today. I'm going to lose this uh, insulated shirt, so I'll get back with you in a bit. As you've seen, uh, I have my, I guess, cap can is what I'm calling it. I'm going to check this, see how it does. As you see, this trail is for horses and bicycle riders. You need a permit. For the horse and bicycle, you can hike them for free. You know, you don't need a permit to hike them. So, got this little opening here, first off on the trail here. And looks like we're going to go into like a pine woods here. I can tell one thing that there's a lot of shaking in this hat cam, so get up here in the woods and it's Well, uh, I just viewed the video, I stuck on the hat cam, and uh, it points more down to the ground. You don't really get to see what's up in front of you, so I decided I'll just hold it in my hand for the rest of this. I'll have to uh, That is the word I'm looking for. Modify. I have to modify my hat cam to, so it, it kind of, you know, gives you the view of, you know, walking down the trail. It kind of, you know, was like that. And I like to, you know, you see the view out in front of me. Just there. So. so I'll do the rest of this one with my hand. And, and, uh, Up when before I go home, I'm gonna get me a bag full of pine needles. I have trouble getting in the light, but I plan on to keep practicing until I, you know, I, I can get it where I. Uh, can light them good and stuff. So the only thing I know what to do is just is just to keep practicing at it. So, but 
Uh, I know they're a good ignite. Uh, I mean, I've seen a lot of people use them on YouTube, and so uh, I just, I just got to get uh, uh, a system down that works for me with them. So, so I'm not giving up on them. Uh, maybe that'll be my next video. I'll do a see if I can get a far going with uh, pine needles. And then I'll be able to find plenty. There's enough on them on the ground so, well might pick up some of these pine cones too they make good kindling so i'll mix some of them in in the batch there so, well i'll get down the trail a little bit and i'll get back with you in a little bit It's a beautiful day for the hike. Actually, it's pretty dry. Drier than I thought it was going to be. I guess it's been a few days since it's rained. It looks like we got a tree across the trail here. I know, it's zoom out to see me. I know you can tell that view back, like through the trees there. See that view? The trees. Nice little logging over the rim here.
hoping I come up into a clearing of it to show it real good. You, you wouldn't hardly see when the leaves are on. Uh, get back to you in a little bit. Got a little bit, a little bit in the open area here. Let's see if we can see the what we're hiking through. I don't know if I I didn't mention it, but. Uh, where I'm at, I am, uh, I am, uh, not at the Charles C. Dean Wilderness area. I am in another part. This part is called the Hickory Ridge area. And I, I had that, uh, did the, uh, rainy day adventure. That is, that, that's the area I'm up here at the Hickory Ridge. So I showed you the Hickory Ridge campground and I showed you, a, I think it was Hickory Grove Church. I'll put a link to that video in the description if you want to check that out. Well, actually, it's a two-part. I had a one and a two. So I'll, I'll put links to both of those videos in the description. And looks like we're finally going downhill. Right.
All right, we came to this trail junction here. It's trail two. I'm going down this way a little bit. I was kind of hoping to come up on a creek crossing. Get back with you in a little bit. Alright. Came up on the people on horseback, so I'm just gonna turn back and head towards back towards the truck and uh and call that a hike. So I kinda wanted to do a little bit of creek crossing but uh, I don't wanna go over and bother them people and stuff, you know. Now y'all know the reasons why. I don't like mentioning it. It's, it's, it's uh, that's all I'm gonna say about it. So you've all probably getting tired of hearing about it. So I know I am. I know it's a real threat and stuff, but. I mean, there's too many people talking about it now. So I just feel like I'm not an expert on it or nothing like that. So I'll just leave my uh, thoughts to myself. So I'm heading back and I'll get back with you when I get back to the truck. Alright. I got off trail. A little bit here. I just realized I ain't had lunch yet and I'm kind of getting hungry so I'm going to sit down and have me a meal. So. And I get my backpack off and sit down and stuff. So I'll get back with you and show you what I'm having. Okay, here it is. We got some Star Kissed Tuna Creations. It's the Thai chili style. Kind of a warm, warm meal. I was going to make some hot, need some hot chocolate, but uh, the, as Larry would say, there's nature all around us. <laughs> but uh. I got some Thai chili here, and, and like I said, I was going to make some hot chocolate. Oh, it's just too daggone hot for that, so I'm just going to drink some water. You're not getting a hold of this one, Larry. Uh, so... I'll get this eight and when we get back on the trail, I'll get back with you. Well, Thai chili hit the spot, but it was it wasn't quite enough, so I'm gonna eat me some spam. So and then uh, I just wanted to show you I did have I did have my garbage bag to carry my trash out with me, so I'm not gonna leave nothing away, so Throw that in there and I'll get this spam eight and I'll get back with you when I get back on the trail. Alright, I got the spam eight and the stuff and still feel a little hungry so I'm gonna have a Snickers bar for dessert, so 
While I'm eating this, I'm just going to head, go ahead and start start down the trail. So let's go. So I'll get back with you when I get to the truck. Made it back to the old gray truck. First thing in the morning. Get my hat back on. Well, I'm gonna put my stuff up and uh, head on out. Uh, I didn't weigh my backpack, so I'll wait until I get home and then I'll close the video there. That way I can tell you the weight of the backpack and stuff like that. So, I'll see you when I get home. Okay, as you can see, this is the road I went down. I don't see no street sign. All I see is a sign with the numbers on it. Get a, you a close up of it. See. Yeah. Four five one three zero oh, four zero. Oh. So, that's the road that I was down, did the hike on today, so I'll get back with you when I get home. 
as you can see I made it home <coughs> uh, I uh, weighed my pack it was 6.4 pounds I didn't have much in it just my food and well I was out the water I drank all the water so I, I didn't have the water on it so I uh, I'd probably add another maybe half a pound or so it went only had like that greater aid of water in it and uh, well of course the food I ate so and I forgot to mention uh, I wore my REI socks my hiking socks I got it REI well Larry uh, paid for them for me but I paid for them because he's a member so uh, but I wore them on the hike today they did real good and uh, I uh, had a good time today and stuff. I mean, it's a nice day and everything, sun shining and stuff. As you see, it's getting kind of dark now. So, But uh, I really appreciate you all watching. And I hope you catch the next one. Ta-ta for now.